Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Input Lab. This is episode 45 of our Pokemon Diamond Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'm still here. Joe's still here. We finished up grinding, but I accidentally pressed A on the gym leader. So you, we can't really see the team, but I assure you everyone's at level 42, just at the edge of 43, and we're ready for Candice. Yep, uh, it's finally here, the day after many fudges. Uh, <laughs> Seventh of eighth gym badge. <laughs> this game <laughs> continues, much like the feckless attempt uh, at living the human existence. Uh, you you were coming for Candace, sure thing. But I should tell you, I'm tough because I know how to focus. Yeah, what about fashion romance? It's all about focus. It's all about crystals. It's all about tarot cards. I'll show you just what I mean. You ready to lose? She seems like a crystal, crystal person, yeah. yeah. Crystal person. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! That's not appropriate. I what? said a crystal person. No, what? not you. The, the, the sprite. Is it? She's know. just wearing shorts. Oh, like okay. Zadu. Okay, bird. Uh, speaking of not appropriate, here's the Native American bird. <laughs> I don't even think that's true. Really? Oh, I'm not sure. No, I think it's supposed to be based on like a totem. Um, like. It, uh, yeah, yeah, but I don't, I don't know necessarily. I think it, I think you might be right, but um, Braviary is the real Native American bird. Oh, okay. Uh, so I don't remember. This is a psychic. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm thinking about if I want to do any switching. I think we might be able to set up more on this thing. I'm gonna try that. I'm a little afraid of Psychic here. I consider just doing Ice Beam, but I doubt I can one-shot Tailwind. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> what is, is that speed increase? or? Yeah, for the okay. whole team. Wish. Okay, this is mm. fine. This thing is like just a stall set, basically. Oh, I forgot to turn battle animations back on. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, I'll turn this on as soon again. as the fight's over. Oh, yeah, when it doesn't matter anymore. I, I mean, like, these animations are kind of lame anyway. So that's yeah, two. Just imagine it's it's a bunch of circles. Wah, 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 yeah. wah, wah. <laughs> do, do, do. Yeah. So we're just gonna basically do what we did last time and overcharge Maori for uh that's what it sounds like. Yep. This would have been great to have uh the the new um what's the Pope Francis if he was doing that swords dance, that would be pretty good too. Yeah, he probably could have set up here too as well, it's true. Uh, but, like, he doesn't have as good of a moveset yet, because, like, mm. the best thing he could do against this at plus six would be, like, return, and it, he's not at max friendship yet. Right. I didn't bother grinding up friendship. Oh, that's a little annoying. Confused, right? Not very, but it is a little annoying. Um, okay, yeah, we can set up one guy. more time. Oh, I, I thought you were at six. I thought I was at five, but maybe I'm wrong. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll never find out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe oh, I, I should probably do it now because the tail yeah, one's gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that speeds us. I'm dumb. Even with the, without the tail one. Okay. Well, oh, I guess fine. you have more time now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you want to check the check if you're level six after you all? You can't. Or, or you mean like with the yeah, moves? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In later games, you can actually just look, which is nice. But it right. took until generation seven for that to be implemented. Mm. So hopefully we don't just get confused right again here. Uh, look at that. We had more room. See, I lied. I lied. Yeah. Don't do it. No. 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 That's okay. So is it a tax stat that makes you hurt yourself more? Yeah. Not special. So that's good. Oh. I don't think it had to be crit. Something tells so. me I, it did. Yeah. <laughs> Pelosi. Wait, why did Pelosi get along? Because we were leading with Pelosi. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah. Tail one's out, but we are still confused. Ooh, not really what we wanted to see. I don't going. think this thing can one shot us, though. Like, I don't think there's anything. Can... Well, maybe Night Slash crit could kill us. If you're though. worried, um, use the Giga Drain. <laughs> that's not that's not the thing, though, right? Because, like, if, if we hit ourselves in confusion and it Night Slash crits, like. No, uh, no, I, we're no, at plus I know, six. I know. No, no, no. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry, everybody. No. It was all for nothing. Ugh. Okay, but it would not have been a problem. <laughs> that, that was pretty. That was a lot of damage for a not very effective. That's true. Level under his bite, though. So. I mean, yeah, if we got confused or flinched or whatever, it would still have been a problem. But I was just being very cautious there because there's no reason to be reckless, right? Mm -hmm. 
we're not in a desperate enough situation that we need to be reckless. Mm-hmm. I really want to see Groudon get some action, though. Earthquake is... Well, dead. now might be your yeah, chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that schmuck. All right, Pope Francis. A fiery preacher, kind of. <laughs> I don't know. He kind of just went, went, went wild with this one. Brimstone preacher. <laughs> Maybe that's the... Okay, it looks like this is a great chance to swords dance. <laughs> no, because we could get poisoned by this thing. So, let's switch out when that's a problem. Yeah, but we might just like waste our time swords dancing for nothing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're gonna be overly cautious and and like we can out. one shot this mock, like and it, but it does still pose some threat to us. Is the thing? Does Kangaskhan propose a threat to you? I guess we'll see. I'm thinking no. Or Zets. Or Zets. Yeah, all right. Oh, uh, confusion would be annoying. Yeah. Actually, confusion would be really bad. Yeah, that was should be able to switch out. If you, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah. didn't get confused, though, so okay. I'm just going to go. Plus two should be enough here. Ooh, endure. More than enough to kill this thing. Obviously, endure will enable it to survive. But... Mm. We aren't dead to crit dizzy punch, obviously. Crit, Dizzy Punch, Confusion, hit ourselves, but we outspeed, so that shouldn't be Ancient power. Ancient power. Aww. No, because it's gonna... She's gonna Hyper Potion. I guess we could... Well, yeah, we, you still, still outspeed, yeah. but whatever. Mm. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, you could've gotten all stat rays. We could've. It could also... I don't think it has a priority move, but... Maybe. Like, other than Fake Out, which you can't use anymore, but, yeah. Okay. 1425. Okay. Now we ancient power. Although, is ancient power even stronger than just like slot like return? Well, yeah, because return is like no power right now because <laughs> we're not very yeah, friendly. We're building friendship. Yeah. Though you are at like half your health, maybe. Yeah, but we are also at plus two. It's four times super mm -hmm. effective. I'd be very surprised if this thing killed us with anything. <laughs> you know. Yeah. That's fine. Just gives us another chance to get the boost <laughs> for whatever the last Pokemon is. At least this was a more challenging fight as in like the Pokemon could have been threatening. Like they're all like, <laughs> fully evolved, but we kind of had the tools to deal with each of them. So. so you've got a very good team. Oh, it has pressure as its ability. So that took all of our ancient powers to kill. Mm. No boost. <laughs> Sad. Yeah, I don't know. These last few gym fights have been real easy. Like, not that I want to lose, but I do hope the game gets a little more challenging. I think it's mostly because our um, our team is really good, basically. Yeah. Like, I, I legitimately think that's what it is. We're just pro Nuzlockers. Um, I think it, it's either level 40 or level 45. It might be 45. All enemy Pokemon are forced to be fully evolved. Mm. So that's like around the 8th gym, I believe. That'll come into play. Um, so not our level, just like level. Like if an enemy of, trainer sends yeah, out like a level forty-five yeah. Pokemon, it'll always be max evolved. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And there's Ooh. the seventh gym badge. So now we can use okay. rock climb, which we don't need right now, right? But we will need it eventually, yeah. and not that long from now. Take this. Is this icicle crash? Seventy-two. Avalanche. Uh, yeah, icicle, icicle crash, crash. I think is Gen five. Yeah. 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 Okay, uh, that's great. Awesome. Well, that went pretty pretty smoothly. Mm -hmm. I'll just uh, before we go any further, no, not that. <laughs> before we go any further, click this back uh, on. And you know what? What you gotta change the frame? Yeah, it's time. <laughs> Ooh, I feel like it's gotta be dark blue. Oh, 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 oh! This is what I've used yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, you like that? That one's good. The Pokédex. Yeah. All right. Oh, look at that! Day you actually cycle. get to see evening time. Yeah, now. yeah. This is a rare. We're moment. recording a little later. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, next we go over to the lake. I think that will be another encounter for us, um, and also a fight with. Uh, Commander Jupiter, I think. Mm. Okay. 
should we just fly over to the lake or is someone going to run up well, to us and be like, there's a problem, you need to help. You can't fly to the lake. It's oh. just right here, though. Oh, okay. You know? Sure. Yeah, I definitely remember the lake over here. But well, we just walked past it when we got over to this town, so... It's, you know, it's where the Galactic Runs were. We were talking sure. about in the previous episode. So, uh, there is the next level limit is for the 8th gym. And then is there also a level limit for... The Elite 4? Yeah. Yeah, so the next level limit is 49. Mm. That's for the 8th oh, gym wow. meter. That's, that's, well, there's a lot of content yeah. between now and the 8th gym. That's why. Right. Um, And then... Uh, yeah, I think 63 is going to be the level limit for the Elite Four. I did it based on the highest level of the fourth Elite Four member. Okay. So we'll go in, we'll be under-leveled for the champion, but by the end of the Elite Four, we'll probably be, like, less, slightly less under-leveled for the champion, mm. is my thinking. Um, so yeah. I hope that's a fair enough level limit. It might make the first Elite Four member or two a little easy, but there's still like six team fights and they're all <laughs> going to be fully evolved. So right. can't be that easy, probably. Ooh, okay. Here's Joe. You're not getting away with this, Team Galactic. Oh, are you finished already? Oh my God. Your Pokemon <laughs> aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake. And become the Pokemon champion. Dream on, little kid. But ew, it's so cold here. Let's go back to the Veilstone <laughs> HQ. Ew, it's cold. Or did she not even fight you? Oh, don't I know you? We met in Eterna City. Listen, Team Galactic is gonna do something. Go get out of our way. Don't whine about trivial junk like Pokemon. Don't waste your time going to Veilstone, where our HQ is. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. Right. The place you should definitely not go, Veilstone To progress HQ. the story, do not go to Veilstone. <laughs> I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Yuxi! It was suffering. Oh yeah, we got we got Yuxi in the back. I love the good all caps. <laughs> I'm going to get tougher. So Masprit! <laughs> uh, it's not about winning or losing. That's not good enough. I have to be stronger. Alright, let's get an encounter. Ooh. We could have just fished, right? Yeah, but there's probably other stuff to see if we surf around. Mm. Like maybe a TM where we can get the TM for Earthquake, which maybe will be useful. At some point. <laughs> yeah, put it on Dragonite. I don't know if Dragonite can learn Earthquake. Dragonite can learn anything, my dude. I don't think it can learn that many things. We already uh, have a shelter. Oh, oh, cool. So this is Species Claws. Yay. I hope we can run from this thing before it icy shards us and kills us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Ice shard. Your yeah. Five levels up. I mean, yeah, it's stab super effective. Yeah, quad super effective at that. Oh, I guess we'll just get some grass encounter. Mm, bold. Oh, there it is. All right, yeah, my I'm junior. My yeah. my. Yeah. We can make a really funny nickname with this. A, yeah. You know, the clown. Right. Literally a clown. A lot of options. A lot of good options. And then, a mo well, he becomes like a French mind, though, as well, right? Mm. So he's Macron. Is he Macron? I think he's Macron. Yeah, yeah. he's definitely yeah. Macron. He's got to be Macron. Yeah. Well, that's settled. Oh, shit. Wow. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Oh no! Can we even throw Pokeballs at a substitute Pokemon? I don't even know. No, he's chipped away his damage. That's true. He's gonna make that a little easy. You can't. No, you can't. The only things that go through substitutes are uh, sound-based moves. Actually, yeah. Oh, that's very specific. It is. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's the sort of thing that like you have to play these games a ton to like know that. Like, oh yeah, like um, Sonic Boom or like uh. Uh, boom burst or echoed voice you know those is, moves is that through. stated anywhere or is that probably at some point some NPC mm -hmm. in some games says it but uh it's yeah it's an it's a niche thing like stomp on a minimized pokemon so right? he can never substitute like kill himself right no okay uh and in fact he shouldn't be able to substitute at this point so he just got us he got himself down to a nice yeah, this is catchable good. You made him easy to catch yeah not Psybeam. <laughs> Mime, mime, mime. Isn't, uh, isn't mime, like, Mr. Mime, like, doesn't Mr. Mime have, like, a relationship with, like, 
Ash's mom. <laughs> that's uh, a fan theory slash yeah. meme yeah. because it's like her Pokemon that's always with her. Right. You know? So people like to joke that Mr. Mime is Ash's father. That sort of thing. <laughs> it would explain a lot. Be such a joke, you know? Mm-hmm. But um bum bum. I mean that and uh I mean obviously Professor Oak. Yeah. Those are the two big, the big candidates. For yeah. Affection, affection yeah. yeah. And Brock as well, probably. Well, he's competing for everyone. True. Everyone's affection. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't think we'll ever use it, but cool. Yeah, we'll Mr. Mime's like a decent psychic type, but it definitely got buffed when it became a fairy as well. Um, As it is now, it's I wonder if we should have been doing these names in all caps just for the flair, you know? Ah, uh, nah. Macron was transferred. <laughs> Macron was transferred. Yeah. yeah. TM for toxic. Mm. That's pretty good. Should we put that on Tentacruel yes. and get rid of toxic spikes? Oh. No, toxic spikes are better. Are they though? Because because doesn't that can't that then get multiple opponents? It can. They um flying types, levitators, uh steel types, and poison types are all immune to them though. Obviously, steel and poison are immune to toxic as right. well. But the thing is like. Toxic spikes, like, you have to be able to set up two layers for it to be toxic poison. And toxic mm. can be a really good wall breaker if there's just something scary you gotta, like, stall out, right? There are gonna be also opponents with full restores, but I don't know. I feel like toxic might, in the long run, be more reliable than toxic spikes. Okay. I think I'm gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> I think we might actually have infinite toxic as well. Like, I think we might be able to buy it. And we can always... Actually, I don't think we found a way to purchase heart skills. Oh, yeah, but like I said, the underground, you can get infinite heart skills. So. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so when the time comes for that, we'll just be able to get whatever moves you want. Yeah, we're going to have fun designing our designer babies um, prior to the Elite Four, you know? Exactly. Gene, gene splicing them to get the right moves they're gonna be nutty nutty oh some of them already are more or less <laughs> all right um so now we go down to veilstone although there is probably a lot of stuff we can do with rock climb right now i'll just mm. do that between episodes because i don't think there's like any new encounters or anything for sure so I'll, I'll go around and i'll let you guys know if i find any like good items or tms yeah you'll be like I just happened to find six Master Balls. I wonder how that happened. Good RNG. Mm -hmm. Dream luck. Bad dream luck. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna although, continue. what I will do is yep. I'll uh, I'll put Rock Climb probably on Groudon for the time being. Okay. Just because like, it's going to be better than, uh, than uh, Return for a while. Mm. It is also like Power 80, right? It's not bad, yeah. It's not 100% yeah. accurate, though, is the one annoying thing about it. It's 85 mm -hmm. accuracy. Power 90. Oh, you can confuse, at all. though. Yeah, it's solid. It's kind of like takedown, but it doesn't recoil, but it has a chance of confusion, you know? It's like, it's, eh, it's all right. It can it's very... the opponents? Yeah. Hmm. It's very redundant with... Um, with uh, strength is the main thing. Like, they're very similar, right? The rock climb's actually, like, rock type, right? Uh, no, it's normal type. Rock climb is normal type. And rock smash is fighting type. Although that makes a bit more sense. Yeah. That one. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know. It's a little weird. That such is the way of the Gen 4 HMs. <laughs> this game is getting worse all the time. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I guess we'll start on this, do you think? Yeah. Is yeah. this the HQ? Yeah. Do you have to fight all these dudes, or? Um, oh, no. do we have That's the? Not... We don't have the key yet, do we? Do we have to go back to the? I think we have to go back to the. Uh... <laughs> The warehouse or whatever. I think that's where we're gonna get the key card, unless I'm forgetting. This is like the one part of the game. Oh, here it is. I think maybe this guy. Yeah, this guy. This is like actually kind of like. 
This is a place I got stuck as a kid. Oh, yeah. Getting the key card from this one random galactic run. Okay. I think they actually tweaked this in Platinum. They have Looker, like, just when you approach the building, he's like, oh, I got this. And he, like, hands it to <laughs> Because, oh, like, okay. it's just, like, it's so easy to, like, get stuck here and not yeah. know where to go. Well, I, I can't believe he's just right outside the building. He is, but, like, what are the chances you're going to talk to him? Uh, I mean, I talked to every single NPC when I was a kid. Yeah. I, I often did, too, but I think I just straight up missed him. Yeah. Part of me wasn't sure where to go to begin with, but, like, I just, I was like, am I supposed to be here? Where am I supposed to go, you know? <laughs> um, although I think this isn't the galactic key, it's the storage key, so we have to still go back to the storage area, yeah. Oh, okay. It's, uh... The back door. Fetch quest. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Is that in the city here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I guess while we're here, we might as well grab this. <laughs> ah, little animations are, are kind of funny. Oh, well, you can sell that. Yeah, not that we need money. <laughs> right, okay. The fact that you have to, like, do it twice. To it's not the worst part. Like, there's no reason you'd have to do it again to go down. They could just treat it like a jumping ledge and just have you, like, slide down. Or why couldn't they have made it, like, surf, where it's, like, you can now scale rocks in the area and then you just, like, press up and down and go right. up and down it, right? Like, that yeah. would have been so much nicer. <laughs> I guess this guy tells you about the key as well. Mm. Oh, wow. All right. He did not stop you. Well, he has a key. He must have been authorized. So are these yeah. all? You think these are all trainers? That we yeah. Started? Okay. Oh, apparently oh. not this oh, one. Maybe though. not. Maybe you lied again. Oh yes. Mm. Yeah. We need the galactic key for that. So it's this way. Just be chatting up about their plans to develop a Mewtwo. Hmm. <laughs> That would be a little too derivative, even for Pokemon, <laughs> I think. Oh, meow. Oh. So, are you? I feel like you're one of those one of those kids who like loved meow in the anime as a kid. Is that is this true? Um, I think I liked meow a lot. I don't, I don't know if I loved it. But okay. Yeah. How do you feel about meow as a Pokemon? I've a, I've a, actually I have a meow doll somewhere. In oh yeah. Cool. Yeah, like from like like early 2000s like uh, in the original that's cool yeah how do i feel about what What's just that? you know as a pokemon meow you know what's your what's your feelings on it uh i like it better than persian uh okay. i like using an amulet coin to to farm a bunch of money you mean payday the move yeah payday. yeah oh payday with an amulet coin though. i mean yeah yeah that's true that does synergize um i think it's cool i like him i, I wish like i wish I wish Persian wasn't as evolved because he has so much character, and then Persian is just a cat and yeah. like a wild cat. So I really like a Lulan Meowth as well, mm. um, but a Lulan Persian is an abomination. <laughs> it's actually so bad. Yeah. Well, you went from like a fun little character, like a Pokemon should be, to just like an animal, and that's okay. Pretty much. Like, yeah, like like Stantler. It's just a deer. Like it doesn't do much for me. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. there's that buff deer. What's that buff deer? Buff deer? Yeah, isn't that a buff, like, moose caribou or something? Like, Are you thinking of, like, Sawsbuck, the yeah. season's deer? Yeah, like, yeah. that's a little different. I like right? that like, one, There's yeah. character to that. Like, it has uh, elements, and, I guess, uh -huh. it's big, and it's buff. It's, like, cartoonish a little bit, but, like... It's not that buff. Just, I don't know why you think it's so buff. It's I, it's just a I deer that is... side by side of Stantler versus Sawsbuck, you'd see a big I mean, it's, it's more, like realistically proportion than Stantler. I think yeah. Stantler's a little cutie cutified, whereas Sawsbuck is more like elegant and regal. Right. But fundamentally Sawsbuck is just it's it's a big buck, like it's a big deer, but it its antlers are like seasons yeah. themed. Which is really cool. That's I like that. But like Persian Persian Persia? Persian. 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 Yeah. 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 He's just a Persian. Um and in Persia you can't even find like tigers. So I don't even know where that came. <laughs> but yeah he's, he's just a wild animal like you could see him in the zoo that's not interesting like you know, just a big cat yeah but Meowth is like he stands on two feet he's got like a look going so he's got like a very noticeable coin on his forehead right. whereas Persian just has like the little gemstone exactly yeah. um, so Meowth's cool and then on the anime he talks for 
some reason, which I don't know if it's ever like clarified why or not. I think it's it was to impress a female meow. Yeah, just to say well, he uh, English. he spent a lot of time around like humans or whatever to learn their language. Yeah, and then he like yeah, it, it just didn't work <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know why he thought it would work because it's not like she spoke English or, right. or you know so human. I how that would, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's just the way it went. English is human, you imperialist. <laughs> and there are surprisingly few people in the anime who are shocked by it. Yeah, you know? they just kind of accept it. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a phenomenon that just happens sometimes. You know, Some Pokemon just talk. start yapping. Exactly. I mean, chat's hot, right? Well, that's kind of different, though, isn't it? Yeah, very. <laughs> Do you know the, the maze? Do you know nope, the we're going to okay. find it out together. Cool. They're all just the same blue box with different shapes. Kind of. Yeah. Hmm. I like how like these scientists like fully dressed as scientists are working with this like gang that's blowing up lakes. They're probably the only group that would fund their research, you know, right. those types. Yeah. <laughs> Well, before I was doing non-GMOs, but that didn't pay. So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, Relicanth is one of my favorite Pokemon. Actually, um, do you know the uh, the lore behind Relicanth? Uh, it's like a fossil Pokemon that was preserved or something. It's supposed to be ancient, right? Well, have you heard about the po the uh, the animal it's based on, the Coelacanth? Um, just the name, see the camp is kind of familiar, but why don't you tell me? Yeah, well, I'll tell you in the audience, in case anybody hasn't heard yeah. this story yet. The coelacanth was an ancient fish that, for basically all of human history, we've believed to be extinct since the time of the dinosaurs. That is, like, millions of years. Yeah. But, within the last 100 years, we've actually found a few living coelacanths in the deep ocean, like, in various parts of the oceans, um, like I think it was a few decades ago, maybe that the first one was found, like in the fifties or sixties. Uh, and so basically, this this ancient species that we thought was a, equivalent to a dinosaur almost was uh, was rediscovered, still alive though you know not exactly common. So um, yeah, kind of a cool story there and uh, a cool Pokemon. In yeah, my opinion. yeah, I'm looking it up. Um, yeah, it says it's just very rare. Is it what's notable about it? Just that we thought it was extinct. Is yeah, it really pretty big? much. I mean, I mean, it has like it has like a certain fin structure. It's got like six fins or something, which okay. is kind of unique somewhat. Oh I think. yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the funny thing is like if you, I mean, if you just gave me a random fish, let's say it looked like a goldfish, a little different, and you were just like, oh, we thought it was extinct for thousands of years, and now it's not. Like I don't know if that impresses me. Well, you say, like, oh, we found Megalodon, you know? <laughs> wow, aren't you hard to impress? Yeah, yeah, okay, I mean, yeah, okay uh, dude. But maybe the six fins thing is kind of cool, so we'll take that. Wow, this guy. This guy's like, oh, I don't, I don't give a fuck about the sea like fins, you know, whatever. You know what I think is way more interesting, except yeah. or not? What do you think is way more uh, interesting, Joe? Those, why don't you share? What are those dudes that have the, uh, the crazy mouth? Like, they like they come out of the, uh, the shower if you live in Australia. What, like leeches? Like blow like not blowfish. Yeah. Sockfish or whatever? I think I know no, what you're talking about. No. Um, um they they got look really ugly. They, uh like, cuttlefish? Like, let me look that up. I'm trying to think. They have like a crazy face. Like oh cuttlefish are really cool. That's cooler than the the sea that can. <laughs> Um, okay. No, it's like a meme. They have that face, you know? Like the ooh meme. Yeah, that one? I don't think so. No? What's that? That's just a, that's like a Twitch thing. Okay, okay, no. <laughs> they got a face that like... The I mean, it is it is a fish. Oh. It, the ooh thing on... It's a fish. Okay, what kind of fish? I thought it was called a sock fish because it's got like a big like... It's like a sock it, like or like a thing that like blows in the wind. Mm. I put sock fish and I get socks that have fish on them. Okay. Maybe I'm just making so, shit up. I don't know. Um, blow, blowfish, blowfish. I think it's Australian like, showerfish. Australian showerfish. There's a whole thing about them coming out of like 
the faucet and it's really great creep like scary looking um so that's the thing australia is like the one part of the world that we have not yet <laughs> oh, stopped from killing us ocean ocean sunfish this one is really wild look at this, this is the size of like Oh yeah, they're huge. That's, yeah. that's not the one I was referring. I know. To. Yeah, I know those. Like they're the huge, like flat fish. Yeah. Yeah, those are really cool. Kind of like that, but width wise, you know, and not so big. Hmm. Um, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the ocean. It's fish. very terrifying, but also very cool. Is it kind of weird that I feel like we know less about the ocean than we know about outer space? <laughs> um, in some ways. In some ways, maybe. Like we know the principles for the most part. We have, I mean, that define our space, but then we keep finding things in the ocean that, like, defy our understanding of our reality. <laughs> there is some truth to that, especially in the deep ocean. There's still a lot we have left to understand about those sorts of creatures because oh. they're so hard to observe, you know? Okay, it's the blobfish. It's really, that's what it is. Have you seen this? Yeah, I've seen the deflated blobfish. Isn't that so... Oh well, it's it's because like that's that's what they look like when they're dead, <laughs> like well, like when they're killed. They look, like they look very are, different when they're. Are they less ugly? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Let me see that. I don't know. I haven't. I guess they don't show it in the. Oh. Yeah, you're right. It looks a lot more normal in the water. <laughs> yeah, I think it's because of like the pressure differential when they're like pulled up. They kind of explode. I just can't believe it has like a nose, you know? That's weird to me. It, it does look weird. I think it's just a coincidence. But Do yeah. all fish have noses? No. They have like snouts maybe at best. Yeah. There's this dude holding one. It's like, I can't believe he has the courage to do that. That's I mean, it's scary. dead. So It's so gross though. It is very gross. Like, look, can you imagine... So literally oh, censored. Censored yeah. it. Can you imagine this dude being this dude holding this fish with your bare hands. I wouldn't I, I wouldn't want to do it myself, I'll be honest. Yeah. Well, everyone at home, do your own research on the blobfish. Hashtag do your own research. Yeah. Don't give me don't make me do the emotional labor to teach <laughs> you about blobfish. That was something we were talking and actually we had a little bit of a conversation about this, and this might be a little Good thing to share at the show our sure. sort of thoughts on, uh, you know, educating people and the like. Do it. <laughs> well, you want to kick it off sort um, of what we were talking about with emotional labor? Because you had yeah. like sort of the origins of emotional labor you were bringing up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was saying basically that, um, you know, a lot of people misuse the term emotional labor. Emotional labor originally referred to um, labor that you're being paid for, like a job where you know emotional um like emotional duties was part of the work so you think about like i think the classic example is like an airline worker like you have to force a smile right when you're flying in the plane like in the plane like service uh, other service industry jobs so that's emotional labor right that's a component of your labor that's emotional and somehow it got spun uh by a lot of folks on in, the left in movement spaces to be like, oh, well, I'm me talking to a friend and like giving emotional energy to a conversation is emotional labor. And like me educating you on an issue is emotional labor. And, you know, that's not what that was intended to be from the beginning. And it's, it's a very bad, I think it's a very risky way to go. Like it, it has some value to think about like, yeah, of course you expend emotional energy to do certain things, but to just write things off as emotional labor is like, not the point of the term and also you know basically says oh if something requires emotional energy i don't have to do it um which is very like a in very individualistic way of looking at things and you know very not like not in line with a collectivism or a communitarianism where like yeah of course you want to like benefit other people <laughs> so um i don't know so we were talking a little bit about that basically but one of my core points was that you know when it comes to talking about having difficult conversations, especially like someone you disagree with and someone who, you know, might have hateful or backwards views that like, if you don't do it, it's possible no one will do it. And you might, if there's someone, you know, you could be the best person at like de-radicalizing them or moving them to the left or moving them into a, you know, 
better, more loving place. So particularly if they're like an older family member, they yes. may simply not have very many people in their lives with the capacity to inform them on those sorts of issues. Now you don't have to like radicalize your parents necessarily. <laughs> like that may not well, that be, be great too. It's probably not feasible for many people, right? <laughs> yeah. But um pulling them away from like more extremist, more reactionary ideologies is probably worth doing. Yeah, and I think so. I think another element of this is like even if we accept that like such an act is emotional labor, that doesn't necessarily mean that you shouldn't do it, you know? Yeah. Totally. Um and I think it's it's different for different people. And this is in part because, you know, some people um straight up have like uh like if you're if you're from like a marginalized background, it's going to be a little, I think uh harder to like educate somebody who's being like openly like let's say racist or homophobic or transphobic or whatnot against you like those specific conversations can be very hard to have um which is where like i've sometimes seen those people in leftist spaces say like this is a place where allies can be really helpful you know yeah. is like if you're if you're not from those backgrounds like it would be helpful if you guys could do that because, you know, they've had to do it their whole lives. Like it's not been a choice for them. Mm -hmm. Right. Whereas we can sort of shoulder some of that, um, some of those expectations and help, help move people in a, into a healthier space, I think. Uh, and make the world a safer, more caring and more understanding place for everyone. So I think, I think we would just caution people against isolating, uh, isolating themselves too much um and isolating you know the people that are like close to them who have those kinds of views basically yeah so get off twitter and start talking to people <laughs> yep that's uh that's a big piece of it <laughs> and i think uh on that note that's a good place to end this episode yeah. are we did you finish the puzzle uh just that component of it now we oh. have to go through the actual main hq dungeon. building yeah yep the fungin well it was great set in the comments talking about some emotional labor you had to do <laughs> but, uh, just to undercut my entire no, I'm just kidding. this uh, I mean, technically recording is almost conventional emotional labor because we yeah. are kind of on in a way that we, we wouldn't are. normally be yeah, so we're, we're doing the real we're emotional, doing emotional labor, labor. Yeah, you, yeah, you should count you should <laughs> you should be venmo i guess for this oh yeah. yeah come on come yeah, on now yeah. all right so take care guys <laughs>